Hi, it's Deborah Jones here with a lesson about how to use puffy foam effectively. Puffy foam adds interest and dimension to embroidery, and it's really easy to use. Let's look at how it's done. We start with genuine puffy foam, which is made especially for embroidery. Unlike craft foam, embroidery foam has the proper density to be cut by needle penetrations when creating satin stitches. It's recommended to use a foam color that is the closest one available to the thread color. Begin with a satin stitch letter or object that is enclosed. The density should be about two points or double the density of a satin stitch object for standard embroidery. A good design also includes a placement stitch that shows where to lay the foam. I like to use a small spray box lined with paper or stabilizer to contain overspray when putting a light coating of embroidery spray adhesive on the foam. This keeps the foam from shifting before the first few stitches secure it. I recommend using King Star or Exquisite polyester thread when stitching over foam. When stitching is complete, just lift the foam away from the stitching. With proper density, the stitching has a nice, clean edge. If you see small bits of foam protruding, use an inexpensive heat gun or embossing gun held several inches away to shrink away the small foam bits. Use the heat gun on its lowest setting and use caution when working with heat sensitive fabrics.